You got rid of the Dillswell army for us. I can't thank you enough. At last I can work at the main plant again. I've been itching to get back to the machines. Good. Hopefully you can make me what I need, you mechanic. Talk to me. Oh my god. What do you think? Not a bad place, eh? I'm reusing an old factory. I call it a rust style plant. And I'm really pleased. It's going so well. Not interested. <laughs> I kind of want to be a dick, but I want to also know. It said that Russ was a great lover of items from when he was a young boy. And he would collect unusual things from all over the world. So, did he make love to these items? Did he shove them up his asshole? Because that's what it sounds like. When he grew up, he was appointed chairman of the Item Association. What? What the fuck is an Item Association? And he invented various machines to help redevelop the world. That's, that's kind of cool, I guess. I mean, you know, inventing shit. I don't think that you are going to ever live up to the name of Russ since you're just called Mechanic, but that's cool. He had an amazing imagination and was so talented. He's like a god to us. Damn, this got dark. I just imagine like a bunch of mechanics praying to Russ in like a temple and like slitting their wrists to Russ with wrenches. That would be hard to do. Ah, veteran mechanic. He's way cooler than the other mechanics. The Dillswell army was a bit rough with the place, so I'm just going around making a few checks. They used quite a lot of our parts and spirit stones, but at least we've got our factory back in one piece. How about you give me some of them spirit stones? I think I need them more than you. I remember this place too. This is where we, uh, equips the thingy to the, to the thingy. It looks like the panel's wiring is shot. Inspect it, yeah. And then car died. The end. Deimos won. Oh, oof. Wow, talk about a shock. Oh, not again. I guess an amateur like me shouldn't go around fiddling with stuff like this. Probably not. I want to try it one more time. Let's do it one more time. Whoa, boy, I felt that one. But you know, I think I may be getting used to this. <laughs> He's had different dialogue. Oh my god, are you becoming addicted to shocking? You like that feeling? You're a kinky motherfucker. What the? There was hardly any shock that time. What? You got something to say about this? Karg, knock it off, will you? Are you trying to get yourself killed or something? What are we supposed to do if you die on us? Yeah, I know you love me. I know you want the card dick. I have no idea what you're trying to accomplish here, really. Uh, all right, I won't do it anymore, I promise. Wires are all shot on this panel. Oh, well, let me do it again. Paula, you ruined everyone's fun, you Debbie Downer. It's great to get my hands on these machines again after so long. Hurry up and talk with General Spencer, won't you? We want to get started with the work right away. I will when I see him. We're back to work at last. And everyone's raring to go. They're saying they'll show us some workers some some workers spirit. Okay. That's good to know. The Dellswell guys must have been in quite a panic when they ran away. Imagine leaving behind the bean cannon. I thought we killed them all. I didn't think they ran away. We should have fucking killed them all. The guys here are all really devoted to their jobs, so it's pretty tough when the Dillswell guys came along and put a stop to our work. Yeah, you guys got a break. How tough. You think you guys would like, like, a little break? I found General Spencer. Let's talk to these guys first. Thanks to you, we got the main plant back. At last, we can get it running properly again. Yeah. I'm begging you. Think? Oh, you're the plant manager. You're the big guy in charge. Think of a way to stand up to the Dillswald army. Then I'm sure we can be of use to you. That's that's what I'm doing, bro. 
It's what I'm doing. That's why I'm here. Stop it. Now I really don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to General Spencer. Is there a reason you had to stand between two guys? I mean, maybe he's into that shit. Ah, you're here. Yeah, I'm here. Take a look at this. This is the beam cannon that the Dillswald army left behind. So this is it, huh? It pains me to say it, but they did a good job. That's not your voice, but you're not important. I bet they regret leaving it behind when they ran off. These are the best two mechanics in all of Peastier. I've asked them to do the work on Big Owl. Thank you. I'll explain more later. But, by combining beam lenses, you can alter the power in any way you want. Sounds cool to me. We weren't really interested in developing wet bins, so it seems we're behind Dillsweld in that respect. What's going on? Oh, I bet the big owl's coming. Oh, that must be Gons. <laughs> oh, Card, did you just call Gons fat? You're saying that these are earthquakes whenever Gons walks around? Nope. <laughs> just kidding. I love you, Gons. Hey, Gons. Welcome back. Glad you actually did something to help us out. Thanks, Gons. What's it like outside the city? Looks like the Dillswell troops have pulled out of everywhere but the stronghold. But I think Mount Kina's eruptions are getting more and more frequent. Oh, that was what that noise was. It wasn't the big owl. Well, Karg did say it was the big owl, so it might have been. But it also might have been the erupting uh, volcano. The volcano is becoming more active. There's no time to lose. Definitely not. We don't want to deal with a volcano. Like, lava will kill us instantly. How does it look? Can you attach the beam cannon? Yeah, no problem. We should be able to manage something. Hmm, now things are looking up. Oh yeah, they are. Listen up. We'll attack the stronghold simultaneously from above and below. While we're fighting on the ground, we'll operate Big Owl by remote and use the beam cannon to destroy the giant cannons. I didn't even know that was an option. So, I mean, it's basically the same thing as the Pyron. The Pyron has an attack, and now our, our uh, airship has an attack, and we can shoot the enemies on the ground. Which, I guess, will aim at the cannons, particularly. That's cool. That's nice. It gives both of them different things, but, but like... They, they have like the same thing, but they're different. Once we destroy the giant cannons, we don't have anything to worry about. He ain't wrong. We are way stronger than them. We'll scatter the enemy and take the stronghold by storm. Then we'll get the firestone before they do. That's our main goal. That's the spirit. The irony is that a 10-year-old boy is the one that planned all of this. Maru, you are awesome. How will we manage the remote control? You'll need a tail-op. Great. A tail-op. It's a device which enables you to control things remotely. <laughs> well, I would have never guessed that's what that was because of what you just said that it was. But we don't have all the necessary parts for it. Of course you don't. Jesus Christ. I feel like Nah, nah, it's not just Karg. I was gonna say it feels like Karg's chapter is more like you have to run around and find shit. But think about how long and how hard it was to turn a fucking Furbel into a Pyron. So it's about the same. It's probably actually was harder to do that. It's just, they're gonna need an antenna, obviously. And they're probably gonna need whatever was in that microwave. Because I couldn't touch it, but there was definitely something in there. What do we need? We need three things. This is exactly like raising a Pyron. We need three fruits. Foods. An antenna. A magnetron. 
in an integrated circuit, except for I think they'll probably all be in the same place. You'll need to go and get them from the Perrin's real ruins. That and enough energy for the beam to fire. So, spirit stones, of course. We can get spirit stones at the Viora of Mine, right? I guess so, I don't know. I thought we could just buy them, but we can go get them there. I will take free spirit stones. Mmm, right. We'll get on with attaching the beam cannon to Big Owl then. In the meantime, you get a hold of those three items and some spirit stones. Got it. I'm surprised you didn't say okay. Right, let's go. Nothing can ever be easy, can it? Alright, we're back on the Perez ruins. Let's find this shit. I know one of the things is an antenna. I don't know if the TV has anything. It's a broken television. Nothing useful. That looks important. There's something showing through the cracks. Pick it up. Great. What you saw just happened to be a magnetron. Of course it did. It's all lit up and everything. Something in the fridge. I thought the fridge just had bananas in it. No, just bananas. I still think Maru would like those. It's an old radio. It seems like there's still sound coming through. The antenna's reception. There we go. Yes. Take that fucking antenna. Let's go. Now, where's the last thing? It's here somewhere. Is it in the computer? It's an old computer. There's an integrated circuit lying here. Pick it up. Hell yeah. That was way easier than gathering the fruits. Now we can control Big Owl by remote. Fuck yeah, now let's go get some spirit stones. Uh oh. This is what I remember. I didn't know it was a ninja, I thought they were bandits. But I remember in here getting attacked by some people. Oi, kid! What do you think you're doing? That's not really the name, the sound, like the voice that I would normally give to a ninja. What is it you're collecting, eh? Is he Canadian? You realize this is the ninja shinobi gang territory, right? Yeah, I did think it was a gang. <laughs> Card, no chill. He's just, as a matter of fact, no. Never heard of you. Let me explain. If you don't want to get hurt, you'll just quietly put down what you've been collecting and get out of here. And leave all your money here, too. Hail to the no. If you know what's good for you, you'll do it fast. There's no one around here and we're, that we're afraid of. Even the army lost their nerve and... <laughs> I don't have time for this. You know, we killed the army. Quit the talking and fight if you've got the guts. Damn, Karg is fucking badass. What, what did you just say? You heard us? Let's go. This is unheard of. I won't go easy on you. You'll regret this. I'm not scared of a couple fucking ninjas. You guys are all standing right next to each other. There's a very good chance that you'll all die right now. Can this hit them all? Yeah, I want to hit them all with a fucking pterodactyl. I love this move. I wish he got a different mask, but... Are they all dead? <laughs> oh my god. They didn't stand a chance. Maru killed him in one shot. Nobody else even got any experience. You guys are pathetic. Arg, let's get out of here. It's Karg. They really are ninjas. They did the ninja thing. <sighs> that took up a lot of time. We better hurry. He was not at all threatened. And rightfully so. It didn't even take that much time. Right here, maybe? Get on, hell yeah. Let's go. Slowest elevator ever. At least it jump cutted. Even though that fell again. Oh god. These are weird. I've never seen these. Unbelievable. Now we have monsters to deal with too. They're super cute. Oh my goodness. They're cute. 
you, huh? I want one as a pet. You did not just dodge Paulette. Ew, you're not as cute when your eyes do that. Nice. There you go. Finally. Anywhere in the world that there are spirit stones, you'll find monsters living there too. That's probably true. Seems that way. Monsters and Deimos. They're just like ants around candy. But humans want spirit stones too, so aren't we just the same? Maru, you are the only smart person in this group. You keep spitting facts up in her. Uh, of course not. Humans are the same. Maru is right. What's the difference then? <laughs> I love Maru. He has to be the best character on this side. If you hate Maru, I don't I don't think there's a saving grace for you. I'm just kidding. Everybody's entitled to their own opinions. If you hate Maru, I I don't care. We haven't got time for pointless bickering. Yeah, but Maru is right. Paulette is just really biased, just like the Deimos, because her dad got killed by Deimos, but but at the same time you killed Volk's dad, so it's the same thing. Maru is right. You're right. We have to collect at least 200 spirit stones for the beam cannon. Proving Maru's right again. But how will we actually do that? Surely you can't extract spirit stones without the right tools. Oh my goodness. Do not make me find these fucking tools on top of it. They better be right here. Hmm. Okay. Let's look for something we can use. Okay. Maru's like, we're doing the exact same thing that Paulette's accusing them of doing. These are tools. They are, uh, pickaxes. My favorite weapon on Baldur's Gate. But not the proper tools, apparently. We aren't gonna pick them. Maybe it's this thing up here. It looks really important. It looks like a detonator. Do you want to push it? Hell yeah! Wow! Damn, it's rain and spirit stones! Hallelujah! It's a rain and spirit stones! So many spirit stones. I wish I would have known about that before. I would have come here and did that. How many? Is it gonna be just 200 exactly? Okay. Thanks to that device, we managed to get a hold of 242 spirit stones! Hell yeah, I'm glad that it was more than just 200 because that would have been really unrealistic. It's still kind of unrealistic, but, but at least they didn't just make it 200 exactly. Great! That should be more than enough to fuel the beam cannon and put a couple in our pockets. Let's go! You think as a commander I'd had like the power to command people to go do these small menial jobs, but it's all good. It's all good in the hood. Hey, Karg. Wait. Hey, Gog! We just finished attaching the bean kit into Big Owl. Of course you just finished doing that right this second, because this is when I got all the shit together. How'd it go for you? It did not go great. We managed to get a hold of the three items for the Tella Op and some Spirit Stone. So it went good according to plan, but it could have gone better if we didn't have to do all those fights. Excellent! Right, then let's get on with it and make this Tell Op. Extract some energy from the Spirit Stones and charge up the Beam Cannon. Alright. So it is just like the Pyron, though. I'm gonna have to have spirit stones to fuel it every time I want to use it. Just instead of eating the spirit stones. I mean, it's kind of eating as much as machines can. Fully charged. Good boy. The beam cannon's energy is at maximum. How long would that make it last? The beam cannon is really powerful, so it uses up a lot of energy. Answer the fucking question, peasant. Even if you start with max energy, you'll probably only be able to get off three shots. That's a lot more than a pyron. Only three shots. So we just gotta make them count. The telops ready too. 
Now you can control Big Owl by remote. At last, we can put our planes into action and take out the Mountain Stronghold. You got that right. First of all, let's get Big Owl in the air on standby. You set off by land towards the Stronghold. Once the ground battle is underway, we'll send in Big Owl to take out the giant cannons. You ain't gonna come with us, Spencer? You ain't gonna fight this battle alongside us? Like, uh, you aren't gonna do anything? You're just gonna fucking control Big Owl? I still have to control it by remote in battle? You, you, you're useless with your big pipe and your mustache. I'll leave the timing of the shots from the beam cannon to you, Karg, of course. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's all Karg ever says. Okay. Sorry, I said that in Karg's voice, probably because it was okay. Okay. Once we get inside, the defenses will be weakened. If we can do that, the stronghold will be ours. Come on, let's do it! But, the Dillswold army might have entered the volcano already. Guns, don't be a paulet. That's right. Once we get inside the stronghold, we should go after them right away. And then at last, it'll be time to battle it out over the Firestone. Sounds like a plan to me. Maru's excited. That's what matters. Paulette and Gons are probably just being Debbie Downers over there. Right, we'll get going too. Okay, good luck. Thanks. Happy to see that you and your men are doing nothing but hindering my abilities as I walk into a wall. <laughs> 